foot to the face in the victory against Clemson. It was a hard loss to Miami. They lost in Charlottesville, then posted a huge win Saturday in Raleigh against NC State. BC is here. They've lost three of their last four. Here's Kidd working against Post. Now Padula. Look at Zachary tag him defensively, and Padula got it blocked by Quentin Post. Here's Zachary and BC now in their first chance, and that got poked away off the dribble. Padula. Kidd to finish. Oh, great in transition. Sean Padula to Lynn Kidd. Takes it up. Zachary. Malik Bay. Kick into the corner. That's McLaughlin, and that's a three. Reese, John Crispin, thanks very much. Welcome to Blacksburg at the Castle tonight. Only meeting of the regular season between Boston College and Virginia Tech. And you see Lynn Kidd, who's got Virginia Tech's only basket. This is MJ Collins on the board now for the Hokies. But yet, second and assist for the Hokies. Kelly, who gets the start tonight for Earl Grant, lost it, cleaned up by Quentin Post. So that's, that's a shocker. Yep. They have played well here. Part of it's Post. He's difficult for them to handle. Robbie Barron, the three. Seven or eight teams, they're right there. You win one or lose one, it makes a big difference. Turned over by the Eagles. Padula shoves it ahead. Nice catch of the ball by Barron. Collins, a three. Able to kick that out, find MJ Collins, who's shooting the basketball with confidence to start this game. That's what the home court will bring. Zachary for post. What a catch and score. Armani Mighty, by the way, with the ball up top. Number two, the sophomore from Canada. Zachary back for one of the best names in the game. Mighty, who dumps it to McLaughlin. Second field goal, Devin McLaughlin. Young, where they're not one of the top teams in the league in handling the basketball, averaging almost 13 turnovers a game this season. Deep three, Couture. Save with the Eagles, but we're getting a look here at Virginia Tech's weaponry from the perimeter. Hunter Couture stepping back, knocking. Did you put the asterisk there yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Course you okay. I absolutely yeah. put it I there. Say nobody else did. Here's the drive, Zachary. McLaughlin, over his shoulder, scores again. On the three ball, he is comfortable on this floor, but the answer, the nice find from Jay-Z. As McLaughlin's able to finish. Well, we talked about how he likes to play on the road, but coach, you're with me on the asterisk. Think about the numbers you would have put up if you had a fifth year to be able to play. Well, geez, I mean, what are we going to tell about Armando Bacon? <laughs> well, Claudel actually struggling. One of the reasons WD, he doesn't have his normal jersey on. He wears yeah. number one. There's Lynn Kidd. He's got a pair of field goals, averaging 10 and a half a game. There's McLaughlin. Missed the chippy, got it back. Ooh. Missed it again. Third time charm. One of the things, Coach, that we see is right now, Donald Han Jr. I realize we're old is what I realize. And then, of course, Hunter Couture, D. Han. I thought he was going to let that one go. There's a drive and knocked away. Look at Mighty go get it and score. Armani Mighty gets the hoop and the foul. The Eagles are wearing their alternate cream jersey. Hokies are in the blackout tonight. There's Mighty trying to contend on the miss. The tour deeper than the first. Yes. Hard, hard to stop that. Often do you see what we may be seeing from Harris. He's trying to press a little too much. A little bit. Here's it's hard. The... It's hard sometimes for guys to do that. That has been their calling card. They've always had a number of guys that can shoot the basketball, but they've been able to play great defense as well. The league bay gets his first shot of the night to roll. You see the details from behind the line for both schools. Neither shy at all. Here's, they got to get Couture one. Here's Kidd. Soft turnaround. Good. Yeah. Hand going to work. Here is Harris out front. This is a very competent score. Claude L. Harris hey. knocks down a three. He had 26 at Georgia Tech. 29 against Lehigh. Had nine straight double-figure games prior to a drought here in the last couple. Guys, you got to show up for it. Dave Bing is one of those oh, guys. Unbelievable. You got that right. Here's Harris. Oh, oh. way he went for the oh. door. Potent rejected it. Collins. Skip for Couture. Out front for three more. Oh, Harris. Thought oh, Harris tried 
Poteet. Poteet won that. Yep. Nine for Couture. The lead is eight for the Hokies. A leak bay out of the corner. Rattles it in. Sean Padula got a quick rest. Hunter Couture now getting a quick rest. These guys spend a lot of time on the floor for Mike Young. Look at Padula, the scoop and score off the window. Nine point lead for Virginia Tech. But he's the guy, WD, coming into the season. They have to rely on MJ Collins to be that defender. To take some of the pressure off of Hunter Couture, who's played that role really for the last three years for Mike Young. Having to go out and guard the other team's best offensive player. Ooh. Nice pass. Still a terrific look here, Jim. This is a great pass and left hand. You got to be willing to live and die with it. Couture back in the lineup at Virginia. And here's a turnover. Collins has Padula with him. Padula changed gears, got to the rim and scored. And they have shared the basketball extremely well, giving up good shots for great shots. Are we in a danger zone here for BC, coach? Well, they needed that basket. Let's let's go there for sure. Hard working person in show business. Right Absolutely, now. every night. Yeah, and she has to work with Coach Behan. That's I mean, the hard in. part. That's a. <laughs> she she did really protest me coming. The second. And now a walk into the front court for the final seventy-five seconds. Here's post. Off the post. Inside scores. Averaging 15 and 6 in conference play. Top 20 in both categories. Collins. Wow. Like free money when they get stuff like this. Big lead for the Hokies. And only one rebound. Inside post again. Turns on Kidd and scores. In the country. There's McLaughlin. He was outstanding. Got his own miss. A league bay with post. Had it slapped away Ooh. and turned over. Here is Collins. Oh, wow. and this crowd here at the castle with this turnover and hammer. Yeah. Collins has 11 with his fifth field goal. There's a drive and score with a left hand for Quentin Post. Not a lot of seven footers in the country that can. 11 point lead. Zachary, tough first half on the board with the drive there. First points for. Jaden Zachary. He needed to get on the board. Yep. Collins looking for Melijo Poteet, who has checked in the ball game to spell kid, by the way. Here is Poteet. Nice catch and score there. So right there, Post doesn't make a defensive play because he just picked up his third foul. Really good in the first half. Had 11 for the Eagles. Six to shoot. Zachary feeds a league bay the catch and score. Nine for Prince, a league bay, by the way. Cut the deficit down a little more here. Malik Bay, here's Post for three. Got it. Quentin Post. That's his 26-3 of the year. He's got 13 now. But that Here is the sophomore Mighty. McLaughlin got the roll. That helps. He's playing so confident yeah. right now. Now a game at Syracuse and the 30-point game we mentioned to Georgia Tech. Couture yeah. another three. Nope. First miss of the night for Hunter Couture from the field. That was a great look. What a catch and dunk by Armani Mighty. Really good catch. It was a great it was transition. And look at the find from McLaughlin to find Mighty under the basket. Three over a league bay. Barron the long rebound and the roll. Seven for Robbie Barron. Category, but a big one for Robbie Barron to be able to pick up. Zachary had it raked out of there. McLaughlin cleans it up. Up with the right hand and in. 15 for Devin McLaughlin. If you didn't know any better, you would think. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Couture, Padula, three with Zachary trailing, and he knocks it down. Nine for Padula. Big stat in their, with their defense. Yeah. It's, it's important. There's Zachary, the feed, McLaughlin, the layup. 17 for McLaughlin. A five point game. Here's Nickel. And Couture and Harris. A lot of content. Mixing it up quite a bit. Two pointer for Nichols Jr. And that ball got knocked away. Turned over by Virginia Tech. Harris launching and hitting. Six for Claude L. Harris Jr. Pointers is when his team is needed the most. That one makes it a four point game. As the Eagles have hung around here and weathered the storm. Back door, Couture. Well, they've been overplaying the whole game. They were, they had to. Here, WD, I had to ask the young fella, do you still have it? 
He waited to show everyone. Oh, you have to realize the guy played good defense on me. It's not time to take a shot. It's more so to pass it out, right? You'd think so. You'd think so. Post had it knocked away on 12 his... and 7. They'd be level par 4 and 4 in the ACC. This is one of the 11 teams. Uh oh, let me see if Harris has got some bounce in his legs. Yes, hey, sir. I'll tell you what, that's some frustration on that one. Yep. He struggled. He come off the bench passing lane. Takes a look back to see if anybody can contest this in the basketball. Surprised he didn't add more pressure. Collins trying to find a path on Madsen. Nichols could not finish over post. That got poked away by Kidd. Nice play tonight. He averaged a double double against us. I know that. It's like all of a sudden the bad dreams came to reality. Harris, nice shot. Uh -oh. And again, we've seen Harris knock down the coach in the ring of honor at Syracuse. Yes. He's already there. Yes, he sir. snuck him in early. Okay, I was just making sure. Harris a three. McLaughlin the rebound and the score. 19 for McLaughlin. Is signed on the floor, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, no, I, I know that part. Okay. I've been there more than enough to recognize that. Yeah. Poteet scores. Nice answer by the Hokies to push it back to six, but guys, with Harris had it blocked, recovered Zachary, who scores. It was a live shot clock. The basketball in the hands of Quentin Post and see if they can get something good on the offensive end. 100% and we're both wrong. We're both wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just glad you agree with me while we're wrong. In control of this game when we come back with Jay Zachary making a one possession game. Kid one more time with Post. Looking for Padula with five to shoot. Launching from long range. Wow allow his game to do the talking. The big three knocks it down. Got off to a really good start here tonight and has continued to play a very nice night. Padula in traffic. Fall away. Got it. Oh, Five in a row for Sean Padula. But that's the way you... There's Post. Lost it briefly. Right hand off the glass. Quentin Post. 15 for the big fella for... Here's Padula. Long three. Missed everything. Zachary out of there with it. Half minute to go. Two possession game. Harris tees one up and hits. Claudel Harris Jr. They never did that. They're still under 30, so they still got a, they're still a foul. Mike Young does beat Boston College. 76 71. The Hokies are four and four in the ACC and 12 and seven overall welcoming Georgia Tech here on Saturday.